Battle is brewing in Dearborn, infighting at the Islamic Center of America has the center's religious leader fighting accusations of financial improprieties. Seven investigator Jonathan Carlson is live in our newsroom right now with what he's been hearing. So, Jonathan, bring us up to date. Yeah, hey there, Carolyn. Religion and money, it's not the first time that those things have torn people apart, and in this case, the rift runs deep. The Islamic Center of America is a spiritual place, but of late it has become toxic to some as questions loom over the handling of money, particularly by Imam Hassan al Kazwini. Some board members have publicly accused the Imam of mishandling the books, something he denies. During a recent sermon, he reportedly threatened to resign, but didn't, claiming a groundwell of support. When we visited the center today, the imam was nowhere to be found, and the administrator told us they had no comment, but described the situation as, quote, a mess. To deal with that issue or any other issue, uh, to have a dignified dialogue and respectful conversation and communication, that should be really the uh, solution. Imam Muhammad Alahi is a former imam at the center and spoke to us by phone. My sense is that the fundamental issue goes back to the, this disagreement, the role and responsibility and, and relationship between what is the job of the imam, what is the job of the board. According to their website, the Islamic Center was formed to receive, administer and distribute funds to preserve and teach the religion of Islam. The rift here has been developing for a while, sources say. Board members being of Lebanese descent and the imam of Iraqi descent hasn't helped matters. Now, critics have threatened to inform the state attorney general of improper handling of donations. None of those board members raising questions, however, returned our calls for comment. Meanwhile, some observers tell me that they believe this is just infighting among a few leaders who don't get along. Live in the newsroom, Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. All right.